Hi everyone, this is Ray with the education team from Swirly Do's Kit Club and today I'm going to be sharing with you some ideas for the mediums add-on from the Wistful Blues kit from August 2014. So this month we got all sorts of new things. We got a mist and we haven't had this in a kit yet and this is the Studio Calico Mr. Huey's. It's a little boy blue and I'll show you how to use that. It's just a very vibrant blue not anything exactly new there but we have these that we haven't had before and these are milk paints from Imagines. there's a pinkish color and an off-white not quite a gray I'm not sure but it's kind of a drab color it's really pretty and then we got inklings from shimmers and we got four of these in the mediums add-on and one of them in the main kit so this blue, this me in blue, is from the main kit. And then these four are from the mediums. And this is Penny for Your Thoughts, Spotlight White, Pinkaboo, and Varnish Buckle. And this is a metal, and the Penny for Your Thoughts is also a metal watercolor. And these three are pearls. And these are a lot of fun. So what I thought I would do is I wanted to make a little tiny crate for all of my mediums because I like to have these handy when I'm working with the kit, obviously, because it coordinates. So I thought if I made this little bucket or crate ready for the kit, then I could just replace these, put these back into the general population, if you will. And then when I get a new kit, I'll put all of my mediums right in here. So to start out with, I want to use the milk paint. And we have the two colors, but I'm going to use this pink. So if you haven't used milk paint before, this is a really cool medium. It's powdered form, and it's made from milk. And all you do is add water. And you can keep adding as much or as little as you want. The more you add, the more translucent it will be. And the less you add the more concentrated the color will be on your project. So I'm just going to mix this up here to demonstrate that for you. And I need a brush. So I think this is going to make kind of just a light wash and I'll test that on the bottom first. Yeah, that's really, really light. And that is not a good brush for that because it's putting dark bristles everywhere. This one will be better. So that was pretty light. And so I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some more. And if you make more for your project and you have some leftover, you can put it in the fridge. You don't wanna keep it out because it's made with milk and it will get smelly. Okay, that's better. Now you can keep mixing it if you want to, or you can let it look like this, and you can see it's kind of grainy. I like that look. Okay, so I painted this whole thing. It's a subtle pink. You can see on the inside, that's what it looks like. And then with this pink, just one coat, you can still see all of the characteristics of the wood. But if you didn't want to see that, and you didn't want to have any sort of sheerness to it, you could always paint it with gesso first, and so it would be more of an opaque pink. But I like that just the way it is. I think it's super cute. And so I'm ready to move on with my project. And I'm not going to use any of the mediums from the kit this time for my next part, but I am going to use one of the stencils that we just got. And I want to use some embossing paste, just in random spots. Okay, so I have this texture on here now using the stencil and some of this embossing paste by Wendy Becky. And it is mostly dry. I've used a heat gun on it. And so I'm ready to move on to my next step. 
And this time I want to focus on some of the inklings and I want to show you a couple of different things that you can do with these. So I want to start out with the white because I think this one is really cool. I don't know if I'll use this on the project, but it's really awesome. So all you do with these inklings is you just put some water in here and a lot like the milk paint, the more you put in there, the more translucent it's going to be. I like to put not so much water in there, especially with this white and just kind of get my brush thick with this paint here. So that's pretty thick. And I wanted to show you how it looks on white resin. These are some Prima pieces that we got from last month's kit. And they were totally awesome, but they're somewhat customizable because they're not as pretty. I don't, and I don't mean like a pretty, like it's ugly, but it's not polished very well. So it just gives you more possibilities for what you can do with these. But I really like how this white inklings makes these look. Now it makes it look all nice and shiny. And it takes away some of that drab look to it, like how it was before. So I'll set that aside. Maybe I'll use it, maybe I won't. So I want to use this with a different color now. And I'm going to use this resin that we got in this month's kit. And I want to color in this white part right here. So I want to see if this blue is going to work. I'm not sure if it will. And I'm going to take a piece of tissue and just tissue it off. I want to rub because I think it will come out. It's not very blue. It's not blue enough for me for this project that I have in mind. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use some of this Mr. Huey's. So I like that a little better because it has more definition. The inklings are more subtle. Still nice. But too subtle for what I want for this project. And you can also color chipboard. I have two pieces that I'm going to be using and I'm going to just show you a little bit of how the pink, these pearly colors look. And I've primed those with gesso, so that's pretty good. It's a definite pink tone. I have some other pieces that I painted with the different colors and one of them is going to be one of the metals and so I want to use this burnished buckle you can see you do not need a lot of water just a little tiny bit you could even use a water pen in here I think too that would be nice Anyway, with the gesso, that looks really nice and it's light. And let's see what it looks like on some chipboard that's not primed. I haven't done this yet. So it's definitely darker. Very nice. And it's very metallic. Awesome. So even though you can do a lot more with all of these mediums, these are just some ideas to get you started if you hadn't thought about these. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to go to swirlydoos.com and check out our online community. And be sure to subscribe for the kits. Thanks for watching.